Hey guys, welcome back to my shit So I hope you guys enjoying this series. If you are, be sure to give it a thumbs up. This is, what part is this y'all? Is this part five? I'm not sure, but I am ready for this series. I got my pajamas on today cause it's like literally three o'clock in the morning. So I was like, shit, I might as well wear some pajamas or whatnot. So I got my little pajamas on today or whatnot. I'm going to leave all the other videos that you must watch in the description box down below before you watch this one. If you do not watch those videos, you're gonna be confused. So I'm gonna leave it in the description box down below. Let's get straight into it. Cause this video is pretty lengthy. And I don't want to be rambling for too long. So let's get straight into it. So last place that I left off was that Lee just stopped watching my stories after he seen that I got the gift or whatnot. He just stopped watching my stories and yeah, he just completely stopped watching me, right? He just only stopped watching my stories for like about a week. Like he didn't. It's not like he completely stopped watching me. He only stopped watching my stories for like about a week. And if you guys do not remember, if you guys are not new to my channel and you guys been watching me, then you guys remember there was a time period where I had to get a new car. So he just so happened to start watching me again when I got my new car. So he seen that I got my new car because I had posted it on Instagram and then he messaged me so that was like the first time that we actually was like communicated with each other again and he basically was just like congratulating me on getting a new car because like legion was like there with me when my old car was acting up and stuff so like he was just like wow like he was so surprised at how fast i got a new car because like i kid you not y'all like my old car messed up and then i got a new car within a week like I, I wasn't playing no type of game your girl was not playing like when i said i wasn't playing i wasn't playing like my mom she was trying to put off on it because like i wanted my mom to like come with me because that would have been my first car on my own like that would have been me like purchasing my first car on my own because i've had three cars my whole life and my first two cars my people bought them so this car that i have right now i bought it and i didn't know nothing about buying cars or nothing so i wanted my mom to come and help me my mom was trying to put off she was like i'm busy this i'm like no mommy i need a car so i got a car within a week after my second car messed up so like legion was shocked like so he had texted me and he was like congratulations on getting your new car like you got your car so quick i can't believe you got your car that quick like i'm very proud of you this is and that like he was just like sending a nice message so you know i messaged him back and i was like oh thank you legion like you know i appreciate that like you know so that was that like after that i don't think he messaged me i think he liked the message and that was that like we didn't text each other or nothing right but i guess legion kind of like got over the fact that i got somebody else to buy to give because he started watching my story again and when he started watching my story he was like he would like slide up on some of my stories and like i said before it was kind of weird to me because legion never really slid up on any of my stories so when i was watching him slide up on my story i was just like i don't know it was just weird to me like it was just cringy because i wasn't used to him doing that and it gave very much like oh this girl's mad at me let me try to have conversation with her now like that's what it was giving so you know i was talking back to him but i was i was not really trying to really talk to him for real and i was starting mess like every time he would slide up on my story and like like let's say i posted i like cherries he would slide up and be like me too i'm like girl boy get the fuck like you have never stood up on my story with me and you were cool but now all of a sudden me and you not cool now you want to slide up on my story and i'm very confrontational so when he would slide up on my story talking about some oh me too or this isn't that like try to start conversation bitch i'll just bring it right back to the argument that we had and he i know he'll be like damn i should never stood up on this girl's story like I was not playing with him. Like, I just felt some type of way about the, the way he was moving, you know? Don't know how me and him started talking again. Like, I have no idea. But me and him got on the phone one day. And we had a long conversation about, like, everything. Like, we just talked about when he said that um, when I came to the house. And we just talked about um, me cutting. He, he claimed that I cut him off. Which I did not cut Legion off. If you guys heard the story correctly, you guys know for a given fact that Legion low-key cut me off. He said he needed space and I gave him space. 
What I think it is, is I think that Legion thought I was going to chase him. And he peeped that I didn't chase him. And that shit kind of like terrified him. That's what I think it is. So he brought that up. And he was basically just talking about how I forced ignoring him. He was like, when he said that he needed space, he didn't mean that he wasn't going to be texting me at all. Uh, uh, uh. Now, what I said, look, let me tell you something. If somebody tell me that they need space, baby, I'm going to give them space. I don't know. Who says in their right mind that they want space, but they still want the person to be texting them? Like, I don't know what he's talking about. Like, if you say you want space, baby, I'm going to give you space. You feel me? And I was just letting him know that. I'm just like, nah, like, you say you want space, so that's what I gave you. I gave you space. Like, I'm not about to be texting you or you texting me and I'm replying back. Like, no, we're not doing that. And, you know, we just talked about everything. And, you know, we were just kind of cool again. Like, we were kind of cool. And so, at this point, it had been, like, two or three weeks since we seen each other in person so he's like oh like i want to see you like i haven't seen you in a while at this point we're kind of cordial again not cool but just kind of cordial like everything's still rocky everything's still weird but like we're just cordial again at this point and he's like i want to see you and i'm like oh really he's like yeah and so i'm like um okay like yeah like um we could see each other. So we ended up seeing each other like the next week and everything was cool. Like we was just being like very, everything was just calm. Like everything was very calm. But when I went over to his place that day, he let me know that he's going back to his hometown again. Like he's going back to the DMV area. Like I think two days from now, I don't remember what he said what for, but he said he was going back, right? Just at this point when he told me that he was going back to DMV, I begin to kind of feel like, does he have a girl out there? Like, I just, I don't know. Like, my brain started thinking like that because why are you always going to DMV? Like, I understand that you're from there, but why do you always need to go to DMV? Like, you always going to DMV. Like, for what? Like, you literally, every time I talk to you, you saying you're going to DMV. And he would tell me, like, why he was going to DMV. But, like, I didn't believe him. Like, in the beginning, I did. But after a while... I just didn't really believe him. Like, I was just like, nah, like, you're going out there to see a girl. Like, even if you are going to see your friends or you're going to see family, you're still going out there to see a girl. Like, you're lying about something, right? But we had just became cool again and everything was kind of rocky. So I didn't really want to start a fight. But, you know, I just was like, oh, okay, like, you going to DMV, that's cool. Like, I didn't really think much of it. I mean, I thought much of it, but I didn't really, like, deep it, if you get what I mean. I was on the phone with Legion before I met up with him at his house that day. We talked also about communication because I just felt like Legion lacked major communication. Like, he would just do things and just not tell me, like... I mean, no, he, he would just, like, not tell me stuff. Like, for instance, he could have texted me when I texted him around 4 and been like, we cannot go on our day today, A, B, C, D happened. But he didn't do that. He just said... I'll tell you later, but I, like he, it's like he was so weird with his communication. So we were also talking about communication and stuff, and he was saying that he'll get better. And then he also said, you know what, you're right. My exes have told me that I lack communication. I try my best, but I don't know. Like it, I don't know. Like this is and that. I, I I guess I'll get better if everybody keep telling me this. Keep that in mind. This is what Lee just said. So um. He goes to Maryland, right? He goes to Maryland. Everything is cool. Like, he's texting me and everything like that. He's like, hey, I just arrived. Like, you know, just normal conversations. We're just talking normally. And then the next day that he's in, he was in, he was supposed to be in Maryland for, I think, like four days. The next day that he was in Maryland, he went completely ghost. Like, he went completely ghost. And it's like, it was weird because Legion will be texting you, like, I never started any of our conversations. Like, Legion will start the conversations. He'll be texting you throughout the day, and then he'll just go ghost. Like, when I say ghost, he'll just go completely ghost. So, like, I was texting him, and he wasn't responding. And I remember looking at my phone, and it had been, like, two hours since he responded. But I didn't think anything of it because I was like, well, you know, he's back in his city and stuff like that. So, I went, and I was, like, doing things. Mind you, I had just got my car, and I had decorated if you guys did not watch the decoration video y'all should definitely go watch it it's in one of the videos down below but i had just decorated my car i had just got a whole all the parts to my car to decorate it so i wasn't really too much pressed on legion like i was very excited about my new car and so i was just like focused on trying to like deck my shit out or whatnot but i remember thinking like where is he so i ended up calling him later on and he did not answer he did not answer but he texted me and was like hey i cannot talk right now i'm out um 
my bad for not res responding back i was doing abcd what are you doing right now and what's up do you need like is it an emergency like he texted me something along those lines so i was like um, it wasn't an emergency, but it was something personal that I wanted him to know. So I ended up just sending him an audio. I sent him a long audio. And it wasn't nothing bad, but it was just, I don't want to talk about it. And so he sent me like an audio back. Like basically replying back to, not an audio, he sent me a message back replying to my audio. And so I was like, oh, and I sent him an audio back. Like it was just us going back and forth and texting or whatnot. And throughout me sending him the audio, I felt like... He was being inconsiderate in the actual audio. Not like I know you guys don't know what happened in the audio, but I felt like the, his response to the audio that I sent him was very inconsiderate. So I got not mad, but I kind of got upset. Like, why are you being rude? You know, so I texted him that and I was like, you're being rude right now. This is and that. And this boy gets mad, y'all. And this boy basically was like, you're bothering me with this shit. I'm, he didn't curse. He didn't curse. But he was like, you're bothering me with this mess while I'm on vacation. This nigga had the audacity to text me and say, I'm on vacation. Damn. Can I remind you that this nigga just went to DMV? This nigga was talking, saying he on vacation like he was in Hawaii. This nigga was saying that he on vacation like he was in Africa. This nigga was saying he on vacation like he was in Afghanistan. Bitch, you just in the DMV. Don't like, like, don't, don't, don't do that. Like, don't do that weird ass shit with me. Like, don't do that weird ass frog, frog, fraudulent ass shit with me. Okay. If you got a bitch out there, just say that. But don't try to be like have an attitude with me and stuff like that. Because I didn't like the way you responded to the audio I sent you. Because you're acting weird. You're acting mad weird. And you're mad because I acknowledge that you were acting weird in the audio that I sent you. Now you want to yell at me talking about I'm on vacation. Damn. So after he said that, y'all, like, it, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I was just over him. Like, I was already over him, like, a week ago. But now I'm really over him, you know. So I just stopped texting him. And then he came back and he apologized for texting me like that. He texted me and was like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to be mean like that. This, is and that. I just opened the message and didn't respond. Because I'm just like, I'm not going to even play these games with you. I don't have the energy to go back and forth with you. Like, I'm, I'm so over the way you act. Like, like, I'm so over the way you act. Like, there's just nothing to even say, right? I guess Legion seen that I didn't respond to his message. So he went and texted me again. I ignored his ass again. Because it's like, you got it. Whatever you're doing down there is more important than what I'm sending you in the audio. You got it. Like, I'm not going to even bother you no more. You think you on vacation. I don't know how you could think that you're on vacation when you're in your back, just back in your hometown. That's like me moving to Dallas and then I come to Houston for the weekend and, and the boy I'm talking to texted me and he live in Dallas and I tell him I'm on vacation. Like, I would never think that Houston is vacation to me. So when he texted me saying that he's on vacation, I off rip knew he was with a girl because if he was just going down back to his hometown to visit his friends and his family, he wouldn't think he's on vacation. But when you want, like, do y'all get what, do y'all get what I'm saying? Or I don't know if I'm tripping. Legion comes back into the city one day and he ends up texting me and he's like, hey, Irene, um, can, uh, uh, what are you doing? This was like a week later because I guess he see that I was ignoring his text. So he came back a week later and he was like, hey, Irene, um, how are you? Something like that. And I was like, I'm, I'm good. What, what's up? And he's like, he's like, um. Are you, are you, are you still mad at me? Or are you still going to ignore me? Something like that. And I was like, I think he asked, am I still mad at him? He's like, are you still mad at me? And I was like, I'm not mad at you. I just, I'm beginning to realize we're not compatible. You know, tell me why this boy puts laughing emojis. What the fuck is funny? And now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if Legion is watching this, but if you are watching, what the fuck was funny about that? I didn't tell a fucking joke. So when he put laughing emojis, I was like, what's funny about that? And he's like, 
no like nothing is funny about that I just I don't know the way you responded to me was just like you know I just thought it was funny he was like but I'm texting you because I want to see you and um I want to talk about what happened the other day um can we go out so I'm like go out where and he's like I'm at work right now because it was like it was I'm gonna say usually remember I told you guys Legion worked night shifts but this day Legion worked a day shift so he got off of work at like seven and so he was like I don't know cause imagine when he was texting me he was still at work so he's like I don't know where you want to go I'm at work right now he was like I'm not gonna get off of work till seven eight ish then I have to get home he said so I don't know where you want to go but um it would probably have to be like a lounge or something since like a lot of places about to be closed. He said, or we could go to a restaurant. He said, it's up to you. Like, it really don't matter. I just want to go out with you. So I told him, I'm like, well, let's go to a lounge because I was really hungry because around the time that Legion had texted me, I had just bought some food. So I didn't really even want to eat for real. So... I'm sorry, y'all. Every time I tell the story... I told you this several times, guys. I told you this in every video, and I kid you not, I'm not lying. Every time I get on camera about Legion, something happens to me. Like, y'all remember the last video, my back was hurting. This video, like, my heart has been pumping, like, irregularly. Like, and it's not until I get in front of the camera. Like, I have been fine until I got in front of this camera. Um, I'm good now, though, so let me try to hurry up and finish the story. Like, so I told him... I'm, I told him, I'm like, okay, well, let's go to a lounge, you know. And he's like, um, I don't really know no lounges around here unless, like, it's, like, you know, sections. Like, you know, most of Houston's lounges, mind you, like, it was, I think, a Friday. So, most of Houston's lounges on the weekends, you got to pop bottles. You can't. You know what I mean? You got to pop bottles. So, he's like, I don't really know no, no lounges that is not allowing like you know bottle popping and so i was like i know a lounge because me and my friend we go to this one hookah spot that like you can like some nights they make you buy bottles some nights they don't but i know for a given fact on fridays they don't make you buy bottles unless like something is going on like a boxing match or something like that so i was like we could go to this african um hookah spot that i always go with my friend and so he's like, oh, okay. And it was close to my house too. Like I didn't want to drive far or nothing like that. I just wanted to go somewhere close to my house. So he's like, he's like, um, okay, that's cool. Like, you know, so we end up getting ready and he ends up getting to the hookah lounge before me. And I, uh, my stomach was hurting. So I had to end up taking medicine. So that's why I didn't get to the hookah lounge. And I texted him and was like, Hey, I'm not there yet. I haven't left my house. My stomach is hurting. And he texts me. He's like, LOL. And I'm like, what's funny? I guess Legion thought that, like, I ghosted him. I guess Legion thought that I made him drive to the hookah spot and then made up an excuse. But I really didn't. Like, I was actually, like, my stomach was actually really hurting. And I should have ghosted his ass. I really should have did that. I really should have made his ass drive all the way over there and then not text his ass back. I really should have did that. But I didn't do that. So... I end up pulling up there like about 20 minutes later and he um he ends up leaving like um he ends up leaving to go get gas right before I came so when I pulled up there he wasn't there he told me he told me I'm about to go get put gas in my car since I'm just sitting here waiting for you so I was like okay that's cool you know he ends up pulling in and he parks his car right next to mine. So he parks his car right next to mine. And I end up getting out of my car and getting into his car. So we're in his car and he had a bottle. Like he had some alcohol. He's like, you want to take some shots with me? So I'm like, yeah, sure, wh whatever. So me and him, we just take his shots in the car, right? I told him, I'm like, do you want to talk about what happened last week before we go in there? Here come Legion. No. Yes! Y-E-S! Yes! Yes! This nigga said no. I'm looking like... So when we gonna talk about the situation? When we drunk? When we drunk? Cause baby, I'm gonna go up in there and drink. You feel me? I'm gonna go up in there and smoke some hookah. You feel me? So when we gonna talk about the situation? When we drunk? 
No, we're going to talk about this situation before we go in. So he's like, guys, when I tell you, this is when I knew I was dealing with the devil. Like, <laughs> and I know some people about to laugh, but this is when I knew, like, oh, this boy is crazy. So this boy gets so upset that I'm trying to talk to him about what happened. This nigga talk about some, bro, I thought we were just going in there to dance and, 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 and listen to music. Me and you are not even cool. Me and you, last time we spoke, got into another argument. And you think that we just met up at a, at a, at a lounge just to go listen to music and smoke hookah? Like, you, you didn't think that I was going to confront you or I was not going to ask you about anything? You thought that we were just going to go inside the hookah lounge and act like nothing happened? Like, what are you talking about? He's like, can we talk about this after we get them from the hookah lounge? Like, can we talk about this after? So I, I was like, no, we're talking about this now. Like, I was like, and the thing with me is, and it's not even just with Legion, but like with people in general, even my friends, like if you ask my friends, like my friends will tell you straight up, if I got an issue with you, I can't fake the funk. Like, I got to talk about the problem before we move on, like. That's with anybody, not just with a guy. Like, even, I even had, like, some of my friends where I'd be like, I got to talk to you about A, B, C, D. And they'd be like, no, I don't want to talk about it. Can we talk about it later? Okay, well, if we're going to talk about it later, then I don't want to be around you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to, because I feel some type of way type shit. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be hanging out with you as if I don't feel some type of way and then you piss me off some more and then I snap on you because I really feel some type of way about something you did the other day but because we never talked about it I'm snapping on you more like you know what I mean like I'm gonna address you type shit like and that goes for anybody and that's what I was trying to tell him like we're gonna talk about this situation or I'm not going in there like I'm not gonna act like we cool as shit and we in there like like we cool like nah we're gonna talk about the situation so he's like, okay, talk, talk. So I just confronted him on everything. And I just told him like that he's a liar. I told him he's a manipulator. I told him that he doesn't like being told what to do. I told him that he's stubborn as fuck. Um, I was just going off on him. like, And I wasn't yelling or nothing. But I was just like going off on him in a very stern manner. And the whole time that I'm talking to him, he's sitting in the car like this. Like, like, like he a Teletubby in timeout. He's sitting in the car like this. Like, 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 uh, like his mom seen his report card. Like a little fucking kid. He, like, like, like squeezing his face. Like, 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 like I'm telling a sad bedtime story. Nigga, nigga, you need to smile because this the shit you do. Like, I don't even know why you here looking sad. This the dumb shit you do. This is what I got to deal with. So I'm about to tell you about yourself. Like, what are you sitting there looking like that for? After I get done telling him everything, I'm like, so how do you feel? Like, how do you feel about the situation? This boy says, honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I said, what? This boy says, I don't like people telling me what to do. I said, scratch that. Ain't nobody telling you what to do. I'm telling you about yourself. Okay. I said, I never told you what to do. I said, if you don't want to change or if you don't see that you have an issue, I don't know what to tell you. I said, but it don't matter. Even if I said the problems that you have is not even problems within just me and you. Like, you don't like being told what to do at all. Like, you don't like no type of constructive criticism. You don't like nobody correcting you. You're like, you're weird. Like, you know, as soon as you correct Legion, you low key become his enemy. And as soon as you correct Legion and Legion sees that like, you're going to correct his wrongdoings, he starts silent treatment you. Like, he will go so silent on you he will stop talking he will just become very silent and very just like just very silent he will stonewall you like it was so weird to watch so it's like no like you cannot go through life saying I don't like people telling me what to do like who do you think you are how are you gonna get through life if you don't like people telling you what to do in this life people are going to tell you what to do in this life people are going to call out your flaws and that is because people want you to be better in life not because people trying to tell you what to do or trying to like if Legion came up to me and told me like the, the the funny the funny part is when Legion came up to me and told me my flaws I accepted it and the funny thing is people keep commenting in the story saying oh no Irene I don't know how you can't take accountability for your actions you are wrong at ABCD 
I literally said at the very beginning of the series that I play a lot of parts in this situation. Like, I'm not sitting here acting like I was innocent and that I didn't take situations too far or that I wasn't at fault for certain things that I did to him. I acknowledge that I did do a lot in this in this whole situation. But one thing about me is I was always genuine. That's one thing about me. My heart was always pure. My intentions were always pure. And my intentions were always genuine. We can't say the same for him. So while you guys are sitting here pointing the finger at me saying I was in the wrong and I don't take accountability, I've taken accountability for everything I've done. And on top of that, my heart was genuine. Everything that I did came out of love, came out of genuineness, came out of me just being hurt, not me being an ungenuine soul. He was not a genuine soul. So, um, yeah, and I was just letting him know that. Like, I was just letting him know that he just does too much. Like, he does way too much. I also confronted him about him telling me how he's on vacation. I said, nigga, you not on fucking vacation. I said, nigga, you went to DMV. Nigga acting like he went to Hawaii. Like, you not on vacation. Nigga acting like he went to Thailand and he was on top of the elephant when I was texting him. Nigga, you not on vacation. What is you talking about? Like, I was just so heated, y'all, in that car. So after I got there telling him everything, I said, so that's everything I had to tell you. And I also told him, if you don't like being told what to do, then you might as well just stop talking to me because I'm going to always tell you about yourself. Like, if you don't like being told about yourself, don't talk to me. And then you know what this boy said? He said, my mama don't even tell me what to do. And I said, and that's the problem. Like, that's the problem. If you if you can sit up here, which I don't know whether he was telling the truth or not. But if he if he really was telling the truth that his mom don't tell him what to do, I can see why he act the way he acts. Because if you got a mama that don't even hold you accountable for your wrongdoings, then of course you would think that nobody should tell you what to do if your mama didn't even tell you what to do. And I told him that. I said, that's not a good thing. And I said, no disrespect to Mama Dukes. I told him that straight up. I said, no disrespect to Mama Dukes, but if your mama did not tell you what to do growing up, then your mama did not raise you right. This boy gets all upset. Don't talk about the way my mama raised me. Don't talk about the way my mama raised me. I said, I'm not saying that she didn't raise you right, but if you never got told what to do, if your mom never told you, Legion, you're wrong about A, B, C, D. If your mom never corrected your wrongdoings, then you were not raised correctly. Like, it's that simple. Like, I don't understand how he don't get that. And so... He's just pouting, y'all. Like, when I tell you he's in the corner pouting, he is so upset at me talking to him. So, after um, after I get done talking to him, I said, that's pretty much all I have to tell you. I said, um, yeah, like, that's all I have to tell you. Are you ready to go in? You know what this boy says? I don't want to go in no more. I want to go home. <laughs> you! <laughs> Legion, my boy, you, you think you're going home after I just beat this fucking face to the gods? After I just laid this freaking wig? After I just put on this nice ass dripper drown fit? You think you're going home? After I just wasted my gas and drove up here? You think you're going home? I literally looked at him. Like, I kid you not, y'all, because I'm in the passenger seat. So I'm just looking at him. I literally looked at him. I said, boy, get your ass up. Come on, let's go up in there. Like, like let's go up in there. <laughs> and y'all, like, I literally just looked at him and was like, boy, come on. Like, we going up in there. Come on. Like, I what what did Trill Sammy say? I ain't come over here for nothing. Bitch, you know, we, we ain't, we ain't fucking, we ain't doing all that. But you know what I mean? Like, what, like, we going up, a, we going up in there type shit. Like, I ain't come over here for nothing type shit. Mind you, while I'm, while I'm over here telling this boy about himself, I'm hearing my favorite songs. Bitch, I'm over here hearing see body yo see body see body yo and by me yo and I, bitch i'm missing my favorite songs to tell you about yourself you think we ain't you think you think you think i'm gonna miss the rest of the songs for the night oh no we going up in there like we're going up in there so when i told him i was like boy come on i said get your I, i'm sorry like and i know some people <laughs> I know some people are like, all right, Irene, but I'm sorry. I told him, sure. I said, boy, get your ass up. Come on, let's go up in there. <laughs> Legion always thought I was funny, y'all. Like, Legion always thought I was funny. So when I said that, he, like, tried to, like, he laughed, but, like, he caught himself. Like, you know how you mad at somebody? 
but like you gotta remember you mad at them so you stop laughing like he was like and then he was like and then he put on his shoes because he had his crocs on so he had put on his his jordans and we went up inside there right up inside the club um we end up sitting at one of the booths and the bottle girl comes up to us and she's like, can I get you guys started with anything to eat or anything to drink? Like I told you guys, I had already ate, so I was full. So I told the bottle girl, I'm like, I'm not hungry. I asked Legion, I'm like, you hungry? Mind you, Legion has an attitude out of this world, y'all. Like, he's sitting on his phone. Pretend like, like, let's say this is his phone, right? He on his phone like this. Bitch, I don't give a damn. You know why I don't give a damn, bitch? Because the shake is playing. Bitch, I'm over here. It's lonely at the top. Lonely, lonely, lonely. Money on my mind. Money, money, money. Bitch, all oh, they playing all the songs. They playing Rema. They playing Davido. Oh. Bitch, they playing I'm on a Lambo. Bitch, I'm over here doing the dance. Going like this. Going like that. Bitch, I don't care. Like, I don't care about your attitude. I don't care. We here to spend the money and we here to listen to the music. I don't care about your attitude. So, um, you know, he's sitting on his phone pouting. He just like this. He looking all mad and shit. And so the bottle girl's like, all right, well, I'm going to give you guys a chance to look at the menu and then I'm going to come back and let you guys order. So I'm like, okay. So um, he's still not saying nothing to me. He's not talking to me. He's just in his phone, like just playing on his phone. I'm not, I don't care, y'all. Like when I tell you guys, I don't care. Like I, if you guys follow my Instagram, y'all know I love, like when I tell you guys, y'all know I love African music. Like, and I, I've just always been like that since I was a kid. Like my people always played African music, so like it's ingrained in me. So when I'm when African music is playing, especially when the DJ is playing the music good, like when he's transitioning it into like nice like nice songs, your girl don't care about who's there, who's around. Like as long as I got my 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 phone, so I could take videos, and as long as even that like I'm not gonna lie, the DJ was so good that night. I don't even think I was taking videos on my phone. I think I was up dancing. Like, I was standing up and I was dancing. And he wasn't even looking at me. Like, he was not looking at me at all. He was just like this. Like, I'm over here dancing, standing up. He like this. Ain't nothing in that damn phone. So, I don't care. I'm like, whatever. So, the bottle girl, she comes back around and she's like, um, like, can I get you guys started with hookah? Mind you, Legion don't smoke hookah. That's what he said. We like, 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 like I said in all my other story times, Legion lies a lot. So we have to take everything that he says with a grain of salt because we don't really know what's true for real. So um, he's like, so she's like, can I get you guys started with hookah? At the same time, me and him like said, I said, yes, no. Like we both said it like yes and no at the same time. He said no, I said yes. So the bottle girl looked at like both of us and I was like, Yes, can you get us a hookah, please? And Legion kind of looked at me. And he was like, you know I don't smoke hookah. I said, oh, but I do. Like, why did you, the fuck did you bring me here for? Did you bring me here to look at your, look at you squeeze your face? Because bitch, bitch, I could go home. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for this fucking face of yours. Like, I don't care. So I'm like, but I do. And so the girl, the when I tell you the bottle girl was on my side, y'all, she didn't pay that nigga no mind. She was like, um, what flavor? I was like, um, can I have, um, can I have, can I, can I, can I, can I have watermelon? Like, I was, <laughs> like, the, 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 the bottle girl was not paying him no mind. Like, the bottle girl wasn't paying him no mind. So she ends up taking the order of the hookah. So he gets back on his phone. He texts in on his phone. And then she comes back around again and she's like do you guys want drinks same thing happened again yes no he says no again to the drinks but i said yes so i said um she's like okay what drink do you want so i told her the drink that i want and i said could you get two please and um she's like okay for you i'm like no one for me and one for him and he's like, I don't want to drink. I said, one for me and one for him. And he's like, but I don't want to drink. And the bottle girl was like, okay. And she walked off. I was like, <laughs> when I tell you guys, I was looking at the bottle girl like she is like, that. that's my girl. Like she was on my side. Like she was not playing with him because I was just looking at him like, you're not going to be in, in front of my face, squeezing your face all night. Like you're just not going to do that. Like you're just not going to do that. So 
the, the the they bring the hookah out i'm smoking the hookah or whatnot and then they bring the drinks out and he ends up taking the drink he's just looking at the drink and he ends up like drinking a little bit of it and i'm like do you like it and he's like it's kind of good i'm like yeah that's the drink that i get with my friend he's like oh, okay he's like i usually don't like sweet drinks but this one tastes really good and i'm like yeah i knew you would like it so we're just sipping on a drink that's like our first like conversation like our first cordial conversation since us being inside this lounge so i'm not really paying him no mind like i told you guys before i'm still like you know dancing grooving to the music smoking my hookah drinking my drink like i'm on one type shit like i'm on one right and I'm guessing um, the bottle girl comes around again and she's like, do you guys want another drink? And I'm like, yeah. So I guess at this time, Lee just stopped answering because I guess he peeped that. Um, I guess he just peeped that like the bottle girl wasn't on his side. So he stopped answering. So she went and got us another drink, but he stopped her and was like, I don't want that drink. Can I get this drink instead? So I guess he went to go look at the menu, which I didn't even know he did because I that that lounge they got like the menu online like you got to look on your phone so i guess he went to go look at the menu so she ended up getting him a whole different drink but i got the same drink that we got the first the first time around this time legion he finished he finished the drink so he looks at me he's like hey can i ask you a question and i'm like yo what's up like i'm not even like mad at him or nothing like i'm just chilling like i'm having i'm enjoying myself type shit like like i said i love african music so i'm just enjoying myself and so he's like um hey can i ask you a question i'm like yeah what's up I'm like what's up he's like y'all i kid you guys not this boy looked like he was finna cry he says do you think i'm a bad person he asked me that and i remember that so vividly and the thing is like i still remember that question till this day like it's some days i think of that question and to me and I'm and like, you know, I told you guys that Legion is a narcissist and I know a lot of people do not see a lot of people don't think he's a narcissist. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to explain to you guys why he's a narcissist because he actually really is a narcissist. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys why he's a narcissist in, in the next video and break it down for you guys. But, you know, they say like a lot of narcissists lack empathy, like and narcissists are not really like empathetic. And they don't know how to, they're not real. Like, they're very fake. Like, they don't know how to empathize with people's emotions. And and they don't realize what they do to others. Like, narcissists don't realize what they do to others. And I feel like in that split moment, Legion kind of felt like a human to me. Like, I kid you guys not. Like, even in that moment, like, I was like, oh, wow. Like, I feel like I'm dealing with a human. Because legion never admits his wrongs like when i tell you all the proof can be in this boy's face he will still deny 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 he doesn't care he never admits his wrongs he always thinks he's a good guy like he always goes by this i'm a good guy role like he would tell you to his face that he's a good guy like legion will shoot up the club and then say he's a good guy in the next sentence like that's the type of guy he is so like when he asked me do i think he's a bad person and he looked like he was gonna cry y'all i kid you not he looked like he was so depressed and I wanted to say no because I really at that point did not think he was a good person and I felt like something was mentally wrong with him but I couldn't put my finger on what was wrong with him. At this time I hadn't known that he was a narcissist yet. I didn't know. So I knew something was mentally wrong with him but I couldn't put my finger on it. You know what I mean? So um, I wanted to say yes but the fact that he looked so sad I, I didn't want to like you know start an argument in the lounge which legion don't really argue but i didn't want to bring the move back down because i could kind of see that he was like getting like up you know buying more drinks and you know he started like complimenting the place before he had asked me if he was a bad person he was like this is a nice lounge like he started like getting into it more and he was like i like y'all's music because you know legion he's not african legion is african-american so he was telling me like i like y'all's music y'all music is nice i was like oh yeah like that like we started having conversation again i didn't want to like bring it all the way back down so i told him no i was like no i don't think you're a bad person i said i just think that you have very bad flaws to yourself they could be very detrimental to your life and i'm gonna be real i still 
I do think that Legion is a bad person, but at the same time, I don't. It's kind of like a mixture of both. Like, I feel like he's a bad person, but I feel like he's not at the same time. And I know you guys won't be able to get that because y'all didn't date him. But if you dated him, you will understand what I'm saying. But, um, yeah. And when I told him that, he was like, yeah. And I was like, what made you ask that? And he was like, I don't know. Like, he said, I've just been thinking about everything that you told me in the car. And it made me feel like I'm a bad person. And I'm, I begin to think maybe I am a bad person. It just feels very, like, sad. And, like, very just, he just, he just told me he feels very sad about the situation. About everything I told him in the car. He said that he feels like, he basically told me that he feels like, some of the stuff that I told him is true, but he don't want to admit it. And I was like, just giving him advice. Like, I just gave him like little advice. I don't even remember what I said to him, y'all. Because at this point, bitch, I was two drinks in. Bitch, I was drunk. Like, I was drunk. Like, when I tell you that lounge's drinks is strong, that lounge's drinks are so strong. So, I don't even remember what I told him. So, the waitress, the bottle girl, she comes around again. She asks us, do we want a third round? And we both say yes. So, we end up getting a third round. So we drink it again. At this point, y'all, like, I'm toe up. Like, when I say I'm toe up, I am toe up. Like, I am, I'm toe up from the flow up type shit. So, Legion's like, hey, are you sleeping over tonight? And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. He's like, please, like, please. I'm like, no, because I don't want to sleep with you. Like, I don't want to, like, sleep with him. Like, and I'm not talking about sleep, like, bedtime. Like, I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm childish I don't want to like have no sexual encounters with him because I just felt like he was just getting out of hand and I would have been a fool to give up cat after he doing all the stuff he doing you know so I just was like nah I don't want to sleep with you and he's like I don't want you to sleep with me I just want you to lay with me tonight this is and now like please like please please like I'm begging you like he just kept asking like he just kept asking and I kept saying no legion like no my house is right here he's like please I'll put gas in your car please like I don't want to da -da -da. like he just kept begging kept begging me kept begging me and I was just like okay I'll 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 sleep over I'll sleep over you know the funny thing? I thank the Lord that I slept over that night. I thank the Lord that I slept over that night. Let me tell y'all why. So at this point, we like four drinks in. We drank so much. Me and him are drunk AF. So, um, and I know some people about to be like, y'all are drinking and driving. I know it is not a good thing. I take full accountability. Don't drink and drive, okay? But I didn't even think that we were going to even drink that much. I kid you guys. Now, I didn't think we were going to drink that much. At this point, we end up driving to his apartment. And um, <laughs> I'm not even going to tell that part because you guys will go into a rage if I tell that part. But yeah, <laughs> we end up driving to his apartment. We get to his apartment. And Legion always used to buy alcohol for me because Legion didn't really drink like that. But he knew that I used to like to drink when I would come over to his apartment. So um, he always had alcohol like on deck for when I would come over. So I was like, you got some tequila? He's like, yeah. So he pull out. He makes me like a, a little like cute little drink. So we drink it more. So I like when I tell you we're drunk, y'all, like we are drunk. Like when I say drunk, we are drunk. Like when I say drunk, I'm talking about like damn near blackout drunk type shit. Y'all, y'all know how I told you that Legion don't talk like that? Oh my God. Look at her butt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Legion starts singing like a damn canary, y'all. I'm talking about questions that I needed answers to months ago. He's answering it. Without me even asking. He's just talking. Like when I say yap, 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 yap. He starts talking about Bat. Now, do you guys remember Bat, the girl who he refused to unfollow? He starts talking about Bat, and he said he starts saying, fuck that girl, fuck that girl. I'm like, what happened? Like, y'all, I'm eating it up. I'm like, yeah, spill the tea, spill the tea, because, like, yo ass be so secretive, so go ahead and spill the tea while you're drunk now. Y'all. Okay, so in the last story time, a lot of you guys were saying, there was a girl in his apartment. There was a girl in his apartment. That's what me and Chelsea thought originally. We thought there was a girl in his apartment, but there wasn't a girl in his apartment because Legion confirmed it when he was drunk. There wasn't a girl in his apartment. Legion was going back and forth with Bat at the time, and Bat threatened to come to his apartment at the time. 
I don't know whether to go off on him or I don't know what. But he basically, this is what he told me. This is kind of like what he told me. He said that she threatened to come over there at the same time that me and him were supposed to go on the date. So guys, do you remember when he was saying that something happened with his family? No, nothing happened with his family. Something happened between him and Bat that kind of paused him from being able to go to our date that day. And he wouldn't give me like the full story of what happened with him and her. But I think they got into like a big fight with each other, like a like a very big fight. And then Legion started saying, but I ain't tripping because I got that girl back. I got her back. Yeah, I got her back. Like, and I was like, what did you do to her? Like, I'm asking questions, y'all. I'm eating it up. I'm asking questions because I want to know because I know for a given fact that this motherfucker won't tell me nothing sober. So, bitch, I got to ask everything while he's still drunk, right? I'm asking questions and I'm like, well, what did you do to her? And he's like, don't worry about that. Just know I got her ass back. He was like, the fuck? She want to fuck with me? She fucking dumb. Da -da -da. Like, he just going in on her. He just going in. And he was like, you don't got to worry about her no more, fuck. So, I was like, okay, Legion. I said, so, when you said that you had something going on with your family, it was really bad? He was like, yes, it was really bad. Like, this boy is singing like a canary, y'all. I'm talking about he's even... Like I said before, answering questions that I wanted answers to months ago about other situations. Like he's putting things together, putting things in perspective. My brain is beginning to think, oh, so you were here that day. My brain is beginning to think, oh, so you were there that day. Even when he told me that he needed space, he tried to go back to back and she did some shit to him. So he got his karma back. Like it was bad, y'all. And I was just thinking to myself, wow, so this is the bullshit that you've been doing, huh? Like, this is all the bullshit that you've been doing, that you've been hiding from me, that you've been so secretive about. You're literally telling it all. And even, it's so crazy because even with Legion being dr damn near blackout drunk, he still managed to not fully tell all the tea. Like, it was certain shit that he wouldn't tell me, but he told me, like, enough. He told me enough to where I could be like, oh, okay, so you lied. At this point, I'm not even mad, y'all. I, I let him talk. Like, I just let him talk. I'm not even mad or nothing. Um, I don't know why I wasn't mad. I don't know why I wasn't mad. I think, I think, <laughs> I think in my head, I'm like, yeah, little bitch, what else happened next? <laughs> I think that's what I was thinking in my head. I'm like, yeah, bitch, what happened? Oh, bitch, you lied about that? Man, fuck you. Like, that's how I was thinking in my head. Like, I wasn't even mad. So, um, I just knew how I was going to move with him. And I had just told him, like, okay, like. You just do your thing. Like, I just told him straight up. I said, you talk to whoever you want to talk to. I'm going to go back to talking to whoever I want to talk to. Uh, we're not dating no more. You know, when we see each other, we see each other at this point. Because, like, you want some other shit. Like, you lie too much. You know? And I didn't want to, like, start a fight with him. I didn't want to start a fight with him. So, I just told him that. And he, he was just looking at me, like, like looking weird. So, then, um, I don't know if he cooked. I don't know if he cooked, but we ended up going to sleep at this point in time. We end up going to sleep, and I ain't gonna lie, that was the best sleep that I think I've ever had at Legion's house. I don't know if it's because I was so fucking drunk, but that sleep was so good. Like, I don't know, that sleep was immaculate. So we went to sleep, and when we woke up in the morning, <laughs> when we woke up in the morning, Legion is looking at me like this. I kid you guys not legion is looking at me like this i kid you guys not so i said good morning to you and he was like good morning i said mm -hmm. i said you spilled the tea last night he was like <laughs> y'all legion was sad that he spilled the tea <laughs> Legion was sad that he spilled the tea like you could see it all over his face like you could tell he was thinking to himself what the hell did I tell this girl like you could tell like he was just so guilty like he just like you know how you you know how you uh, wake up the next morning after a very drunk night and you think about all the shit that you did the night before and you get so embarrassed like he just looked like damn I literally just snitched on myself like you could tell he was just very embarrassed he was very quiet he was just looking at me like just very like embarrassed very guilty like he just kept side eyeing me he just kept looking at me like this like also like is this girl gonna go off on me is she gonna scream at me like you could tell he was very afraid like that I was gonna attack him or something but like I said before y'all I was so over him I didn't even care no more like I was over the situation I just kind of felt like he did what he did 
you know, I'm about to just go back in the streets type shit and start talking to other guys. I'll probably keep him on the side because I'm going to be real. I don't want to catch a new body. Like, I don't want to catch a new body. I'm going to just be real with y'all. And I know some people might be like, dang, that's so... That's so childish. You'd rather stay with this useless guy than catch a whole new body. But I just, I didn't want to catch a new body. I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all at that time. So I, I just kind of just started thinking to myself, I'll probably date new guys. I'll probably talk to new guys. But I don't want to sleep around. Like, that just wasn't my prerogative at the time. So I'll just still, like, you know, probably just hang out with him. But, yeah. So... He just kept looking at me and I said, boy, I'm not going to go off on you. I don't care. Like, I just told him straight up, I don't care. And the thing is, I did care, but I don't care to fight with you about it. Like, you know what you did. You lied. And had had you never gotten drunk, I don't think I would have ever gotten this information out of you. So, and had I never slept over, I don't think I would have ever gotten this information out of you, you know, and... So that was that. That's the ending of this story time. Um, that's basically all that happened. It was just very weird, um, awkward. I ended up going home. I'm like, I'm about to go home because I didn't even bring a spend the night back or nothing, y'all. I literally slept in the bed with, like, I think he gave me a t-shirt. I didn't even bring nothing because I didn't think I was sleeping over. So I wanted to go home and brush my teeth and, you know, take a shower. Like, I wanted to go home and freshen up. So... I left the house like 30 minutes after waking up and you could just tell that he just felt weird. Like even when he was texting me, he was just texting me in a very, like he was texting me in a very timid manner. Like it's like he was tiptoeing around me. And in my head, I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like you did what you did. <laughs> and yeah, like it's just nothing more for us to talk about type shit. So, yeah, that's the ending of this story time. If you guys like this story time, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up, guys. It helps a lot. You guys have been liking the video. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it a lot. Um, I know you, you guys say y'all love this series. Is this one of y'all favorite series? Which series do y'all like more? Do y'all like the Chuck series more or this series more? Because you guys been saying that y'all love this series. So, y'all let me know. Is this your favorite series on my channel? Um, yeah, I love you guys and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.